Welcome to Red Dead 2 and thanks for joining us. Today we're going to learn how to get money quickly in Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2 is one of the tougher games for grinding and getting money saved up. As you can see we are in Horseshoe Overlook in Chapter 2 right here and uh, we don't have very much money. We'd like to be able to maybe buy some stuff for camp supplies, buy some weapons, uh, buy some pamphlets, maybe a horse or two, but we don't have any money to do that. So how do we get money quickly so we can? Well, uh, the answer is going to be below this horseshoe overlook. Actually, it's going to be very close to it. What we're going to do is we are going to travel down, down the hill, and we are looking for this abandoned mining town. It's actually a burned out town. We're going to be looking for that. And therein lies the answer to how to get money quickly. If you'll go uh, down below, you'll notice there is a sheriff's office, or there used to be a sheriff's office. And when you get inside that burned out building, you'll notice there is a chest. Inside of that chest is a gold bar. This gold bar can be sold for 500 bucks. Okay, but that's only 500 bucks. Where's the get money quickly part? Well, the key to this is that this gold bar will respawn after sleeping for so many days and maybe traveling around. That's the key. Now I've tried this on three different quests multiple times and one of the things I've noticed is that you need to sleep for a minimum of two days or more. Uh, most of the time it's been three, sometimes four or five. Uh, plus you want to travel by train to either maybe a Valentine, Valentine to Rig Station or Rig Station to Valentine, which we'll do here. And then you're going to head back to this area Then, of course if it does not show up, if the gold bar does not show up again, get more sleep if there's no respawn and it will it will show up. I've, I've done this on three different uh, quests and of course it has worked every time and one of the quests I, you know, I've gotten in, I think like five or six of these bars so it does work and you can repeat it over and over again. One thing I would strongly recommend doing, and that is save your game just in case something happens. You never know. You could get into it with an NPC, get run over by a train, attacked by some vicious animal. Save your game to protect that uh, gold bar. Once, of course, you've accumulated a few of these gold bars, you're going to want to cash these things because they're worth 500 each. And to do that, you're going to want to take these things to a fence. Now the closest fence that I know of near Horseshoe Overlook, it, of course, is in Rhodes. Uh, there's a gentleman right here that will be more than happy to purchase these gold bars from you should you take them there. And of course, as you can see in front of us right now, he's willing to buy these two bars for 500 each or a thousand total, which is much more than the uh, six bucks and some odd cents we have. Now we've got a thousand six blocks. Pretty cool thing. And the best part about this is that after the start of chapter two, this process can be repeated over and over again, no matter where you're at in the game, which is pretty cool. And another thing that I noticed is that you do not have to do the train thing. You can if you want, or the stagecoach. Uh, what you can do is just go ahead and hunt and sleep and then come back hunt sleep come back and there will always be a gold bar if you wait just long enough uh, that will respawn in all these different situations here and of course if you look at the top right hand corner of the screen you'll notice we have a thousand bucks if you go into the satchel you'll notice we have eight gold bars and you'll also notice that uh, arthur's beard has grown quite a bit over time now all we need to do is go to this guy and trade right. them in, Better be good. and uh, we can get another quick four grand, which will bring our total up to a total of over five thousand dollars. And this is done. This is all done in less than two hours. 
And of course, if you can do that, you're going to have enough money to buy pretty much whatever you want. You can always get more gold bars, of course, uh, as you play. And of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching. And good luck.